Hi friends, good morning and welcome to Yoga for Side Body. Today I will be walking you through some exercises to really awaken your body by opening through our sides. This is really great if you are looking to lose any bulging fats that you're experiencing, any back fat. As I've, ex I've experienced myself being 57 pounds overweight, I had a lot of weight in my midsection area and in my back to where it was really uncomfortable to wear tight tops or even bras. Um, so by doing these exercises, I'd like to share it with you and hopefully this will help for you for the results that you're looking for. So if you're ready, just grab all you need and let's get started. We're gonna start an easy pose crossing one leg in front of the other. Place your hands on top of the knees. Let your palms face up. And just start to take a deep breath in as you disconnect from all thoughts, anything that's on your mind. And exhale, take an audible noise as you sigh it all out. And on your next inhale, take a deep breath in. And let us reach our arms all the way up towards the sky, awakening the upper body. And exhale, drop your left hand down and reach your right arm over. So we're taking an easy pose side body stretch. And when you're taking the stretch here, take a little pulsing sensation. So just taking very small movement as you try to reach those fingertips a little bit further opening through your chest, maybe allowing your head to look up towards the top arm. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Release your right hand on your left knee and we're gonna take a twist. So take your left hand back behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, twist from your belly button and look back behind you. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing the belly in. Spine nice and tall. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And as you inhale, untwist. Reach your arms up towards the sky. And bring your right hand down and reach your left arm towards the side. Being mindful that both of your sit bones are grounded taking a little bit of pulsing with that top arm. So really trying to reach those fingertips over as much as you can. This should feel really good in your side body. Really trying to lengthen and create space in our body so we don't feel so tight and restricted. We create more mobility and range of motion in our side and our torso. Drop your left hand down, right hand back behind you. Take a deep breath in as you grow tall. And then exhale, twist from your belly button and look back behind you. Letting your hips open out, relaxing the shoulders. Deep breath in, long breath out. And let's slowly untwist. Reach your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, take your hands in front of your heart in prayer. We're gonna take our legs over to tabletop position. So on all fours, cat and cow, as we inhale, drop your belly low, look up. And exhale, round your spine up towards the sky, angry cat. Inhale, drop your belly low, look forward. Exhale, angry cat, taking your chin towards your chest. Inhale, drop your belly low like a U-shape as you lift your head. And exhale, round the spine up, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly as low as you can, arching your back. And exhale, rounding the spine all the way up, chin to chest. Inhale, bring your back into neutral. Tuck your toes behind you and we're gonna lift and push our weight back into modified downward dog and just keep your knees bent here. Now to warm up our side body, we're gonna do a few twists here. So you're just gonna dip your hips over towards the left side, just hovering, and then bring them back to center, keeping your knees in a bend, and then drop them over towards the right side and hover. 
Inhale, you push them back up. And exhale, you dip over towards the opposite. And we'll do this a few times here. So before you transition to each side, you're inhaling and pushing the hips back up to center, still keeping the knees bent. And you're really going to feel this throughout your armpits and your rib cage, your side body, just above the hip area. It should feel so good. Taking this at your own pace, using your breath as you inhale, Exhale, letting it all go. Let's take one last one on each side and then meet me in center. Push your hips all the way back into your downward facing dog and just pedal out your feet now. So you're just going to walk it out. And I want you to try to lift up all the way up onto your tippy toes so you can feel that stretch through the opposite leg, through the back of the calf muscle. Take this nice and slow. I want you to really focus on your hamstrings here, on your legs. Let your head shake it out. Good, and then holding your downward dog, we're gonna inhale and take our right leg up into three-legged dog, pointing your toes, and exhale, stepping your right leg forward into low lunge. Lift your arms up towards the sky as you inhale. And then we're gonna reach our arms forward, just hinging from the hips. Lift your arms back up, open them wide, and then reaching forward. Inhale, you'll lift the arms up, open wide, reach them forward. Lift the arms back up, turn towards your left side now. So your right knee will still be pointed towards the front of your mat. Take your right forearm on your right thigh, and just start to take a little bit of pulsing from your right knee. So instead of pulsing with your top arm, let your right knee do the movement. Just very, very tiny micro pulsing. What we're doing here is opening up the left side body. Using your breath, try to relax through your upper body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And then we're gonna take our left hand down beside our left knee, straighten out your right leg, and take your top arm up and over your head. Taking some movement as we inhale, use your core, lift your body up, reach your right hand down the right leg as you reach towards the front, and exhale, drop the palm down, reaching back. Inhale, lift through the core, reach forward, Exhale, drop the hand down and reach back. Try not to yank, really use core control to reach towards the front and exhale, reaching towards the back. And again, nice and graceful here as you reach towards the front and last time, drop the hand down, reach back and stretch. Let your head be super heavy Deep breath in, exhale out, and bring your body back into a supported warrior two. We're gonna transition back into low lunge as you face forward, arms up, hands drop down, lift your back knee, step the right foot to meet the, the left in plank, and take chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push your hips back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog, point your toes, and exhale, step it forward into low lunge as you drop your back knee. Arms will reach up, let your hips sink forward. We're gonna reach our arms forward on the inhale. Exhale, reach your arms straight up, open them wide so we can open through our chest cavity, and then reach forward. Inhale, open as you reach up. Then take your arms in a T, hinging forward, and reach back up. Turn over towards your right side so you're on your right knee. Your left knee is bent, left forearm on thigh, and start to reach towards the left side. 
So you're just pulsing with your left knee, opening through your chest, very tiny movement. Let this be gentle and soft. Use your breath here. Let your mind be empty, being present in this moment. Good, and then we're gonna drop our right hand down on the side, stretch your left leg out, and we come into gate pose as we reach towards the back of the mat. We're gonna inhale, lift through the core as the left hand drops down the leg, reaching forward. Exhale, hand comes down as you reach back. Inhale, lift, reach forward. Exhale, bring the hand down, reaching back. So we're really working on opening through both sides of the body here. Dropping it back. Inhale, wave the body forward. And exhale, drop it back. Holding your gate pose. Maybe looking up towards the sky. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And then we're going to make our way into that supported warrior two. Turn over into low lunge as you open your arms, dropping them down on the mat. Lift your back knee, step your left foot to meet in the right in plank and take chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips to heels. Child's pose as the forehead rests on the mat. Let the fingertips reach forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, long breath out. And roll your body up into seated. So we're in a hero pose, knees and shins together. Let us close off our practice today as we open our arms. Really reach as high as you can, deep breath in. Exhale, take your hands in front of your heart. And again, inhale, open. As wide as you can, you should feel nice and open in the side. And exhale, taking your hands in front of your heart, thanking yourself for making it to this feel good practice to stretch out your side body. Leave me a comment and a like, and I will see you all next time. Namaste.